we've seen a broad move in quant in recent years to embrace markets which are more complex to access. For example, assets like emerging markets, credit, and various volatility-related assets. Quant strategies have generally fared better in these assets where the barriers to entry are higher, potentially making inefficiencies more prevalent. In addition, such markets have tended to exhibit diversification properties, either opening up entirely new opportunities or expanding the opportunity set of existing strategies. PIMCO has been for decades at the forefront of trading exactly these type of assets. And as quants, we're extremely fortunate to be able to make use of PIMCO's capabilities and experience to implement novel quant strategies in these areas. If we want to build a mortgage strategy, we can sit down with the PIMCO mortgage desk and talk to them about how they think through value and risk within their asset class and build their insights into our systematic strategies. Quant credit in particular has been a much talked about area recently, but requires a lot of investment in infrastructure to design strategies that work and can be executed efficiently. It's much more difficult than simply applying what works in equities to corporate bonds. So we're spending a lot of time with our 80 person credit research team and our credit portfolio management teams to understand the nuances of these markets and design strategies that work both in theory and in practice. For example, shorting cash bonds is not as simple as shorting a cash equities. And these differences need to be accounted for in strategy design. Also, companies may issue dozens of bonds versus single issues of common stock. So it's important to be able to differentiate between issuances and account for the important differences that may be hard to spot on the surface. This is one huge opportunity for fundamental investors to collaborate with quant investors with mutual benefits.